Hello and welcome to the next vlog of the Classical Mechanics mini series. I'm Xenophon Karyophilis and today we're going to discuss about the center of mass. We all have heard the phrase center of mass in our daily lives, but what exactly center of mass means in physics? In physics, the center of mass of a distribution of mass in space is the unique point where the weighted relative position of the distributed mass sounds to zero or the point where if a force is applied it causes to move along the direction of the force but without rotation. This is what we call center of mass in physics. The distribution of mass is balanced around the center of mass and the average of the weighted position coordinates of the distributed mass defines the coordinates of the center of mass. So, now using what we have already talked before, we are going to find out the center of mass for a system of point masses. In our example, we have M1 and M2 our two point masses and the hypothetical center of mass. We also have a certain reference frame and we take from the start of the reference frame the vectors of distance for those three masses. And with what we have talked before we have that the definition of the vector of distance from the center of mass of those two masses is the following. The distance vector of the center of mass equals to the sum of the masses multiplied by the vector of the distance divided by the sum of the masses. And now we can see on the whiteboard that the distance vector of the center of mass is analyzed to the distance of the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis of the center of mass. So just like the system of point masses, also here in the physical body we have that the distance vector of the center of mass equals to the average sum of the weighted distance vectors. But since in the physical body the point masses are not discrete like in the system of point masses, we use the integrals instead of sums. And the final equation for the distance vector of center of mass in a physical body is this. Also, just like in system of point masses, also in the physical body, we can see that since it's a vector of distance of the center of mass it can be analyzed to the distance in the three separate axes accordingly in the x-axis, in the y-axis and in the z-axis as we study the center of mass in a physical body we also have to understand the mass density why the mass density is important? because either in the one dimension or in the two dimension or in the three dimension object if we know its mass density from the definition of the mass de density in its case we can find out the point mass and then we can find out the distance vector of the center of mass we are going to use an example in order for you to understand it better. In our example, we are going to find out the center of mass of homogeneous rod. As you can see the whiteboard, we have our rod with a section S, maximum distance from the, s the start of our reference frame itself. We take a point mass of this rod from a distance x from the start of the reference frame. We use, as you can see, the distance in the x-axis 
of the center of mass definition that we have already discussed and we call it the first equation. Now we're using the three dimension density that we have already discussed and we find that we find out that the point mass is this equation. But because the rod is homogeneous, that it means that the density in the rod is in every part of the rod the same, it doesn't change, equals to the mass of the rod divided by its volume. And then we take this equation and put it in the, de in the dm that we found equation and we have the final point mass equation and we call it number two equation. Now that we know the first equation and the second one, the first one due to the second one gives us that mathematical formula. If we move out of the integral the mass div divided by the L because it's constant and we solve the integral we know that the distance that from the start of the reference frame is the half of the rod's total length. So the center of mass is in the middle of the rod. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. You can also comment, share and like this video. If you want, you can follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. Links are below in the description. Thank you for watching us and see you again in another episode of A Journey into Physics.